Hi. Well, believe it or not, last night, my cat Daisy was messing with my phone, and she comes up with these emojis with her nose. And I looked at that and thought, oh my goodness, that's Hanukkah. Well, Hanukkah is from the 10th to the 18th of December this year. It's a festival of lights or the Feast of Dedication. And the only place it's mentioned in the Bible is actually the New Testament in John chapter 10, verse 22, where it says, Then came the festival of dedication at, in Jerusalem, at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple courts walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews who were there gathered round him, there gathered round him saying how long will you keep us in suspense if you are the messiah tell us plainly jesus answered i did tell you and he goes on to say about his works and his sheep and all that and he finally says i and the father are one well so his jewish opponents began to stone him and he's like well for what work and they said not for any of your good works but because of blasphemy because you a mere man claim to be god okay well where is this coming from well, Hanukkah, as I said, is a feast of dedication or the festival of lights. And around 168, 165 uh, BC, when the Greeks were ruling this area, Antiochus IV declared himself to be Antiochus Epiphanes or God revealed. He also put up a statue of Zeus in the t temple at Jerusalem, sacrificed a pig, which is very not kosher, uh, basically desecrated the temple and forbade circumcision. So Judah Maccabees, let's look over here. So Judah Maccabees led a revolt and a successful revolt against Antiochus and they were able to re-consecrate the temple. They were able to rededicate the temple. This, don't think of this as a cup of coffee, think of this as a cup of oil. Because according to the story in the Talmud, they had one cup of sacred oil to light the Hanukkah, the menorah, and in the temple in order to uh, dedicate it. And it was going to take another eight days before they could get more. So, of course, they were very sad, but they prayed. And a great miracle happened here that the oil lit the lamp, the menorah, for eight days. And that's, and that's what's celebrated. Thank you, Daisy. And the Hasmoneans, as they were called, the kings, they ruled for another hundred years until about uh, 63 BC when the Romans took over. So what the, the Jews in the story here in John 10 are asking about Jesus being the Messiah are, you the guy who's going to be like Judah Maccabees and overthrow the Romans and reestablish a kingdom, but this time a Davidic kingdom that's going to last and, and, and not go away. And instead, Jesus points to the Epiphanes part of Antiochus Epiphanes and basically says that he's God. And so you can understand why they were upset. But as we know from uh, all the songs we hear at Christmas, that Jesus is Emmanuel. He is God with us. He is Epiphanes. He is God revealed. And so this Advent... I would like to encourage you and this Hanukkah to think about how you yourself have become the temple of the Holy Spirit. You have been consecrated, rededicated to God, not through oil, and, or, or, but through the blood of Jesus himself. And so that now we can be filled with the Holy Spirit, which is a great miracle. And Advent really anticipates the second coming of Jesus, when he will come as a conquering king. And his kingdom, which is here, we proclaim here on earth, will be fully established. And until then, I'm, I'm going to celebrate uh, because every Jewish holiday has traditional foods. Uh, this one as a jam-filled donut because it's oily and reminds you of the oil and wish you a blessed Hanukkah and a blessed Advent.